One mom was beat red with anger after her daughter got some unsolicited advice from her teacher. Mom's net user, moving on up, took to the site to vent about how her nine-year-old daughter's PE teacher recently required her to wear a bra or crop top because a group of girls' shirts had fallen down while they were doing handstands, okay? Oh, okay. The mom felt that telling her daughter to wear a bra was not the teacher's call and that it was also needlessly targeted to, targeted the girls over the boys, okay? Oh, okay. So many users, though, disagreed, pointing out that the teacher might be trying to protect early developers without singling them out. So ladies, would you be willing to show this mom a little support? Get it? Get it, bra Get support. support. Yeah. Uh, I got it. Okay, obviously I'm not a parent, <laughs> but I understand both sides in this. I think it's just how you go about it. I think you have to use the right channels. And in this case, mm -hmm. I don't think that the PE teacher should have told the child about it. I think the thing to do is to speak to the parent mm -hmm. about it. And then you allow her to decide what is the proper way to go about telling her child about how her body's changing right. or that maybe she should just have a shirt underneath. I think the difference where I disagree with this is um, obviously women develop breasts and Boys don't. don't. So that is considered one of our private parts. So if you're doing a handstand and your whole shirt is up and you're growing a little something under there, I would want someone to let me know so that I can right. protect my child so that she's not made fun of. Right. But again, I need you to come and talk to me about it. Yeah. Don't talk to my child about it. Does yeah. that make sense? But at the, I think in the moment, though, maybe the teacher had to say something. Like, ooh, girl. Yeah, like, mm -hmm. you know, so maybe that's what was going on. And then maybe after she was like, you know, now you need on a sports bra or something. Yeah. So, I mean, I, I, you know, I, I don't want to see a girl being humiliated in front exactly. of boys. Right. So I think the teacher may have been at that time doing what she thought. But I also think yeah. there's a way to do it where you make it just a general rule for all PE right. classes. So it's not about the one girl that is developing yeah. early. Everybody has to wear that. In the same way, every boy, I think, has to wear a jock strap. Yeah, you need they... an undershirt. Yeah, you got it. And, and I think that it is, it's the, it's the teacher's role to make sure that the children are safe when they're at school. Mm -hmm. So right. if something happens, she does a handstand and she's something Exposed. flops. Yeah, that's not safe for her. So no. I don't think it's, it is her right to intervene at that moment. Now, how she did it, I don't know how she did it, but it is okay yeah. to say, Precious, now we gonna need you to put on a crop top. Yeah. I have the most yeah. questions. Was the PE teacher a, a female? Oh, I, no, that, 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 that I don't know. Mm -hmm. um, I Would will... it make a difference? Go ahead, Jane. It, I, I don't know if it makes a difference, but I mean, coming from the darker side of nipplage over here, I, I, I'm very, I didn't realize that I, needed to cover until the kids made fun of me when I was younger. Oh, I did tumbling, sucks. you know, and I was like all sitting there. You guys see how crazy I wild out. So when I'm going out there, I had like panda eye all over the playground. Like I, I so, didn't know. So and then yeah. the kids, you know, right. they wouldn't make fun of me. They thought we, instead of pee, they thought we were having a National Geographic course. <laughs> so I wish a teacher called me out to tell me because um, it, it's embarrassing and I don't want to be, I don't want to be schooled by, by the kids. Right. You know, this, it, is, this is my We bias. thought it, it was a female pee okay. teacher. Because I think it would make a difference if it was a male teacher. I, w I would be embarrassed as a yeah. kid. But it was a female teacher, so right. I get that. But again, I just think there's a way to do it. I I think t talking to the parent, but yes. I get what you're saying. If I, in the moment and on the spot, yeah, right. she was completely her. exposed. You gotta protect her. Because then you're Man, leaving. La Rusa. <laughs> okay, <laughs> I don't understand why the school, because I looked it up, the average girl starts needing a bra at the age of 11, but some need it as early as eight. So there should be some type of, you know, girls, standards. But yeah, also, yeah, but yeah, also, also in my family have their periods at nine. Yeah, nine yeah. Yeah. is But really also average. at home, you should be aware if your child is developing and make sure that your child has what they need to go to school in. Yeah, so that's, yeah. You know, yeah. So.